Hey guys, what's up? It's Kramer S, and welcome to your Merlin's Crystal Quest Guide for the 2007 servers. For this quest, you need a piece of bread and a tinder box. You need level 20 attack and the ability to defeat a level 39 monster. You should also bring with you a few stamina potions and energy potions as there's a fair bit of running in this quest. And you should bring a Camelot teleport a Verrock Teleport, and a Felidor Teleport, along with a Teleport to get you to Port Sarim. I'll be using the Minigame Teleport and going to Pest Control. However, you need at least level 40 combat to use that. Um, additionally, you could also use a Glory or a second Felidor Teleport to get there. Alright, so once you have all those items, um, along with combat gear to kill that level 39, go ahead and make your way to Camelot Castle. I simply teleported Camelot here with a tab and then you simply head into the castle, which is to the north. Once here, go ahead and speak to the king. Say, I want to become a knight of the round table, option 1. Now, somewhere around in this same room or potentially in through this door on map now, You'll find Sir Gain, however you pronounce his name. Go ahead and speak to him and say and ask, how, do you know how Merlin got trapped? Option three. And any idea how to get into Morgan Lee Fay's stronghold? Option one. Once you're done with that conversation, go ahead and head up the ladder or the staircase, which is in the western side of the room. And then in the biggest room of this area, you'll find a Sir. Let's go ahead and enter in. It's the one with the dining table. Go ahead and speak to Sir Lancelot. And say, I want to get Merlin out of the crystal, option one. Then go ahead and speak to him again. And say, any ideas how to get into Morgan Lee Fay's stronghold? Once you're done with that conversation, let's go ahead and exit out of this castle now. So climb down the staircase to the west. and simply run out of the castle by uh, going south. We're going to be heading down to Catherby uh, towards the general store which is just south of the bank so go ahead and start making your way down there along with me. You'll eventually come across this little general store symbol on the map here um, and go ahead and speak to the general store guy. He's just on the dock here. Ask is that your ship? Option 3. Say where do you deliver to? Option 2. Say I don't suppose I could get a lift anywhere? Option 1. We're now going to go fight the level 39. If you feel like you need to prepare more in your bank, there's one just to the north. Once you're ready, go ahead and hide in the crate, which is just north of the uh, little general store guy there. It'll ask if you'd like to hide in the crate, say yes, and then skip through all the chat dialogues that come up. Say yes. And we'll now be here. Go ahead and open the large door and climb up the staircase. Then climb up the second staircase, which is to the south. And we'll be on the top floor. Go ahead and attack Sir Mordred. Once his uh, bar is red, you'll get a chat, uh, little dialogue there. And say, tell me how to untrap Merlin and I might, option one. Say, so where can I find Excalibur, option one. And ask, what are the magic words, option two. Say, okay, I will go do all that, option two. Let's go ahead now and climb back down these two staircases here. And let's head out the large door to the west. Once out here, go ahead and kill a giant bat. Once the bat is dead, go ahead and make sure you take the bat bones, that's what we need. Now let's go ahead and make our way northeast so we can return to Catherby. Once 
Once here, go ahead and talk to the candle maker and ask, have you got any black candles? Option one. He wants us to get us, he wants us to get him some wax. So let's go ahead and run a little bit north because in the building just north, there's some insect repellent that we need. It's on the table, go ahead and take it. Now let's go ahead and run west towards the beehives, which are kind of next to the yew trees. Once you're at the beehives, go ahead and take the bucket, which is located just south of the gate. Then use your insect repellent on one of the beehives. Make sure you click through the chat dialog and then use your bucket on that same beehive and you will get a bucket of wax. Let's go ahead now and return to the candle maker. Go ahead and speak to the candle maker and he will give us a black candle. Go ahead and light it and let's go ahead and use our Falador teleport now and run up north towards Taverly. I do apologize, I didn't know at the time it was actually Taverly that we're going to. I should have recommended to bring something like a Taverly house teleport if you had one. Either way, it's not too long of a run. So once you've made your way to Taverly and you're through the gates, go ahead and walk south or make your way south. onto the island which is surrounded by willow trees and you will find the lady of the lake go ahead and speak to her go ahead and say I seek the sword Excalibur option 3 we now need to make our way to the jewelry shop in Port Serum I'm going to be using my um, pest control minigame teleport uh, which you can use if you're level 40 combat. Uh, if you don't have that, go ahead and use whatever other teleport that you brought to get there. Once you made it to the jewelry shop, go ahead and try to open the door. Say yes, certainly, option one. And you will get the Excalibur. Let's go ahead now and teleport to Varrock. Once at Varrock, go ahead and run east. Down past Aubrey, the runecrafting master. And into the little, there'll be a little priest area there um, where you do the rune essence mini quest so it's just once you get to the eastern bank uh, it's a little bit south from there once here go ahead open the door run up to the altar which is in the south part of the room and go ahead and right click and hit check on the altar it will give you three different words here these are random for everybody. Make sure you take note of them. Take a screenshot, write them down, whatever you need to do as we need to know these specific words for the next part. All right, let's go ahead now and teleport to Camelot. And open up the gate here. And then run to the northeastern part of the castle. Make sure that your, lit can that your black candle is lit by now. It will need to be lit for this next part. Go ahead and stand in the middle of these pillars on the little red square and drop the bat bones. 
a ghost will appear and go ahead and say the words that you just noted down somewhere. In my case, it's option two, but this will be different for everybody. All right, let's go ahead now and return back inside of Camelot Castle. Once you're back inside the castle, go ahead and head all the way to the east, and then go down the corridor. Climb up the ladder, climb up the second ladder, equip the Excalibur, and hit smash on the giant crystal, freeing Merlin. Let's go ahead now and return to the king to complete the quest. Talk to the king. And that will be quest complete. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love, peace, and chicken at Greece.